It started out as a competition between Real World and Road Rules cast members. But it would quickly become one of the fiercest competitions yeah. around. They would battle as teams, Red. and they would be tested as individuals. Over the years, angry outbursts have led to legendary rivalries. You mean you talk about son? Now, those rivalries will be tested as enemies become teammates and compete for over $300,000. You ain't got my back, bro. No, don't act like you got my no, back. If you're gonna find Say you don't got my back right now. I'm working. You're new, baby. You are a woman. So if you don't get it, you're not supposed to. He's being a bitch. Get the out of my face for a disgrace to women. Did that talk to me, Did that talk? Talk about me, yeah. I'll you the worst ass with your bitch ass you've ever seen in your life. I want you so bad right now, I would rip your head off. This, by far, is the craziest group of people I've ever seen. Ever seen. Ever seen. You have virtually every hothead in the history of these challenges on one show. Show, 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 show. You couldn't have picked a bigger group of ass. There's a lot of people here that hate each other. This guy's freaking nuts. She doesn't deserve to be here. She's not welcome. I want to punch this bitch in the face. She is just awful. Nobody wants to see him in the game. She's a ticking time bomb. I'm disgusted by some of these people. I can't get away from it. No matter what happens, I'm back. Usually coming into these challenges, TJ's always a shoe in for the host, but uh, he had a tragic accident recently. TJ took a jump at the Pro Do Tour and he fell on his head. And his brain started to swell, so they had to put him into an induced coma for a while. Nobody really knows what his recovery process has come to at this point, and I'm just fingers crossed that TJ comes walking towards us. brings tears to my eyes. TJ already is an amazing example for this challenge. Seeing him pull through with what he pulled through and being here just shows you that, you know, you can do whatever you put your mind to. Well, thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me. I got everybody's emails and letters, and I'll, uh, I'll never forget it. You guys ready to get started? Yeah. Right. Some of you guys may have already guessed it, but if you take a look around, your worst enemies are in this crowd. Maybe you beat them. Maybe you had beef with them, or maybe you punched them in the face. Whoever it may be, your one and only team member is going to be your worst enemy. Welcome to Dominical, Costa Rica. This is Rivals. CT, come over here, please. All right. Now, CT, you probably have already guessed it. You're gonna be teamed with Adam. Okay. Nice. Speed and strength. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Adam. Oh, you kidding me? Yeah, I will smash his head and eat it. I'm gonna sleep with the one eye open, and I'm gonna make sure that I know where CT is at all times. Next up, we have Cara Maria. Cara Maria's favorite person, Laurel. Yeah! She doesn't have the mentality of a competitive person. No matter what I do, I feel like Laurel's judging me. We have Johnny, Johnny's teammate, is Tyler. Ah! Him and I know how to get under each other's skin like it's our job. We're both each other's kryptonite, so hopefully we can make it work. Next up, we have Teresa. And Teresa's partner is Camilla. I, I don't know. I saw her. Why did you get it? Next up, we have Evan. Oh, baby. And Evan's partner is Nehemiah. Niedermeyer. I don't like the way that Evan plays the game, and I'm going to have to really work on some things inside of me, not to just choke him out. All right, next, we have Paula. Paula! Paula. Paula's partner, Evelyn. At first, yes, I thank God, Evelyn is a superior partner. I'm pumped, and then I remember we don't like each other. I've really got my work cut out for me this time because for me to win this challenge, the unthinkable needs to happen. 
Paula needs to win a challenge. Okay, next up, we have Davis. And your partner, Tyree. Oh! You're the me ever! You hit me right now! All right, next up, we got Jen. And Jen, if you haven't guessed it yet, your teammate is gonna be Mandy. Oh, Jen, Jen! All right, next up, we got a new guy, Leroy. Your teammate is gonna be Adam R. I've been trying to help you since you've been here. What the f are you talking about? I got a baby since you every night. I've yet to see you perform, but I look forward to it. Honestly, I don't really like Leroy at all, and I just wish I didn't have to be on team with Leroy. Okay, next up, we got Sarah. Looking around, I'm going, who is my enemy? I thought I was one of the nice ones. I didn't think I had any enemies. Sarah, your teammate is Caitlin. Oh, that's right. My mom told me that you would be the first person to throw me under the bus. I'm so glad that you proved my mom right. Next up, we have Ty. Ty, your partner is Brandon. Yay! 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 Wrestle? We're not gonna wrestle. We can... I know you wanna wrestle me. I'm... You think I'm fine? You wanna be on me? Okay, we have some more new blood. We got Jasmine. And Jasmine, your partner is John A. Lie! The history between me and John A on our season of Cancun, we were fighting over the same guy, basically. There! She's nuts around him. Like this boy is making her crazy. Crazy. Next up, we have Anissa, and your partner is obviously Robin. So Anissa and Robin, welcome back. Really, Tish? You paired me with Anissa? There's so much tension between me and Anissa. You can cut it with a knife. And last but not least, we have Kenny. I'm gonna let Kenny pick his team. Kenny? <laughs> Kenny and I have an extremely tumultuous past. This goes back many years and many challenges. We don't see eye to eye on anything. What's his weakness is his ugly face. He is literally one of the dumbest people I've met. No one likes an ugly person. And now I have to rely on him to play a game and shake hands with him and win. It's tough. I'm gonna show this guy what a finish line looks like. Whoa! All right. So Kenny and Wes are partners. Okay, you guys wanna talk about money? Yeah. yeah! Okay, now if you guys make it to the final challenge, first place, we have $100,000. So that's 100 grand for the guys, and 100 grand for the girls. Yeah! Woo! For second place on the final challenge, $50,000. However, if you make it to the final challenge and you get third place, then you're going home with nothing. When TJ tells us that second place gets 50000 and third place gets nothing, I'm thinking, like, I got to come in first. I'm going for number one all day. This is the jungle. The jungle is an elimination round. The winning team of every challenge is safe from elimination. The losing team automatically sent into the elimination. The team that battles the losing team is going to be voted on at your villa. All right, so you guys get some rest. I will see you at the first challenge. Woo! Kings being reunited once again, and to win in yet another challenge. I'm excited to see a bunch of these clowns I've ever seen in a while. Yeah. Johnny's still Johnny, Kenny's still Kenny. Hey, cheers, buddy. Good, Good to see you, man. Evan's still Evan, but he looks pregnant now. I don't know what happened. Cheers! Welcome to Costa Rica! They're all enemies in my book, so yeah. cheers to that. This is how it works. It's called the bandwagon effect. And the second that we just say a name and everybody just agrees to it, then you're safe. That's how it works. It's basically the most coward but successful way to do it. Oh, man. I mean, obviously, we're trying to stick around yeah. as long as we can. Rookies are the most easily manipulated people in the entire house. So I'm going to set them aside and ask them to follow me long enough for me to then send them home a couple weeks later. I don't trust you, my This is how it works. <laughs> but, dude, it's a public vote. It's a, it's a public vote, so they it's can't... Book. I'm feeling it, man. They can't take us down. Me and this about to win, so we not got to worry about voting. It's yeah. a wrap. You I still mad at me? I'm not. I, I really, I, honestly, we, we... I'm sorry. Me too. A lot of people didn't know that uh, my brother was murdered. 
I was actually shot in the back. And uh, it woke me up. I'm not my own worst enemy anymore. Do not lie to me, I will not lie. I can't, I can't do this without you. I know, right, same thing. For me and CT to want to be best friends or to hope that we're going to be best friends is unrealistic. But we're just going to have to do the best we can. No, now you stuck with That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's just, that's yeah. what's worth this. Let's just, just figure it out. Sneak attack and come at everybody like ninjas. Yo, we just got a mess from T-Day on our T-Mobile My Touch 4G. Yo, word up. Woo! Woo! What does it say? It says, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's dive right to our first challenge. Be ready. In your team uniforms at 6 a.m. Yeah. Whoa, what if we're skydiving? Tandem with your partner. Tandem? And you have to trust your partner to pull the thing. Welcome, everybody, to Nayaka Falls here in beautiful Costa Rica. Woo! Today, you guys are playing high dive. Now, as you can see, we constructed a nice platform 150 feet above the waterfall. And you guys are going to be jumping off of that platform. Holy I've never done a height challenge really before. I didn't know if I was going to be scared or not. Apparently, I am. Coming up on Rivals. Walking up to the first challenge, I'm thinking, wow, we're at this incredible waterfall. How amazing is Costa Rica? And then TJ explains today's challenge is to jump off the waterfall. And it doesn't look so pretty anymore. This is a good old fashioned long jump, right? So here's how it's gonna work. You're gonna hold hands, you're gonna start in the box. When I say go, you're gonna run, you're gonna jump before the line, and you're gonna try to clear as many hash marks as you can. The team that makes it the farthest in the quickest amount of time Win today's challenge for the girls. Since you're up for elimination first, the two girls that jump the farthest will be safe from the jungle. For the guys, two thousand bucks. You make it the farthest. You guys will get a thousand bucks each. Make it happen. Everybody understand? Yeah. No questions. No. Good luck, you guys. Let's do it. <laughs> My knees are shaking, my heart is pounding. I'm squeezing Jen's hand to death. I'm freaking out. Here we go, ladies! Here we go, girls! Here we go, Jen! All right, girls, you ready? Yeah. My heart's pounding. I think that we would have been really good at this. We're both natural sprinters. I'm afraid of heights. I'm human. It's a natural feeling to not want to fall off a waterfall. OK, girls, you ready? Oh, oh, girls. <laughs> OK, girls, you ready? Did you? Did you cute? Get him on. Get him on. Get him on. You ready? Let's go. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> well, everybody knows my history. I'm not much of a heights guy. Don't like stupid like this. I like keeping my feet on the ground where they belong. I'm a little worried about Wes, yes, because you don't get much whiter than him. And if the statement is true that white men can jump, I'm fine. All these teams are DQing. This is not an easy challenge. All right, Anissa, Robin, let's go. OK, girls, you ready? What the hell? How 
on earth is Anissa's ass getting that far into the air? If anything, my ass maybe hit the last one, but you got some air though. I'm hoping that everything's gonna be okay. My nerves are kicking in, and I honestly, I don't even know what to think right now. I just wanna cry, like, I can't do this. I don't wanna do this. I don't think we're gonna win this because I'm afraid of heights. Okay, girls, you ready? I didn't come here to lose, and I damn sure didn't come here to let these people who are already underestimating us basically psych us out. 110%, man, we're gonna leave it on the field. Woo! Come on. Three, yep. There definitely isn't a bigger rivalry than me and CT. CT's being really great to me now. The minute anything goes wrong, I don't think it's gonna last. CT does not take failure well, and that's scary. It's kind of nerve-wracking for me to be paired up with CT. CT is such a good competitor. If we come in last at all, it's gonna be my fault. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, big dog. Yeah, brother. TJ blows the horn, and I take off. See you later. I think I actually almost hit one of the trees across the creek. I think we're the team to beat today. Woo! Yeah, boy. This is a spot out there. Out there, yep. aim out of the street. Okay, girls, you ready? Ready, yes. Yeah. Oh. 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 All right, Adam, Leroy, you're up. We definitely about to take this serious because we want to win the whole thing. We want to show First everyone. Place that we're a force to be reckoned with. Adam, let's try to clear that, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Let's clear it, bitch. Good luck, guys. Thanks, man. Let's go. Okay, guys, that's our challenge. Good job. Yeah, good job. Woo! Woo! Okay, so we'll start with the guys. This is for $2,000. Two teams cleared 15 hash marks. Adam and Leroy, CT and Adam. It was a tie. We tied you guys. The deciding factor was speed. Which one of you guys got off the platform the fastest? So for today's winners, we got Leroy and Adam. Woo! guys coming in strong right out of the gate good job now for the girls we had two teams clear 13 hash marks veterans anisa and robin and the rookies john a and jasmine so once again came down to speed our winners for the girls once again the new kids john a and jasmine are you serious did we really just win this i'm Excited, rookie guys won, rookie girls won, like, it's the rookie takeover. Watch yourselves. Not only did you win today's challenge, but you are also safe from elimination. You do not have to go into the jungle, so great job. And the girls that lost today, automatically going to the jungle. It's between two teams, Paula and Evelyn, and Laurel and Cara Maria. You guys both DQ'd, but one team's disqualification was more severe than the other. Our first team going into the jungle, 
Man, the girls that lost today, automatically going to the jungle. Evelyn and Paula. Sorry, girls, but you both stepped over the line. Me and Evelyn don't just lose, we lose to everyone. We lose to people that we thought we had no shot of losing to. And it's a tough pill to swallow, my friends. Now it's time for the rest of us to go back to the house where the rest of the teams are gonna deliberate and decide which team goes in with Evelyn and Paula. The fact that both the rookies won today kind of blew everyone's mind, and the fact that Evelyn, who's looked at as the strongest, came in last, really shows that this is up for grabs for anyone to win. If I go in with the mentality to win, I want to win against a good squad where everyone else is going to think for the rest of the game, I might not want to go against her, and that's my mentality. I am definitely worried about going into the elimination against Paula and Evelyn. I probably could take out Evelyn, but I'm just not willing to do that. It's really in the game. Anissa and Robin are a really strong team, so this would be the perfect opportunity for Paula and Evelyn to just be out of the game and gone. Davis tells me that Laurel's writing in her journal and she's talking to Teresa and saying, I can get 15 people to vote for Anissa and Robin. And I'm thinking, if you want certain people gone, why don't you go in and do it yourself? Captain Obvious. Captain Obvious. <laughs> Don't throw me under the bus and not talk to me. Just come to me and be like, look, I'd rather be you going against them. I was seeing if there were enough votes to make that decision. Paula and Evelyn, they'll never be in okay, that position. So, so what are you telling me right now? I'm just telling you, you could take them out. I've definitely heard of Laurel, and she looks like she's in good shape now, so I think she can beat Evelyn and Paula. I think that you guys have a good chance. How many times do you want yeah. me to go in? You just got here. If you have any ideas, let me know. Like, what you think? I, I don't, I don't. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I might be eating thigh deep in the bull right now. Mm. You are freaking out. And I think you're trying this whole, like, strong arm tactic. We might never, ever get the chance to get Evelyn in an elimination again. And you are the only one, you, that can send her home. There's whispers already about who the bandwagon really wants to throw in, and I'm not happy about it. It's got nothing to do with my personal animosity towards Laurel. It's the fact that she's always making it into the finals. If Sarah and I have to go in, so be it. But if you're not afraid to bleed for some money, what the f are you doing here? I mean, really. What's up, guys? So if you guys got 20 minutes, and decide which team you're gonna send into the jungle to face Paula and Evelyn. Now, each team gets one vote, so sit here and make it happen. All right, 20 minutes. Jasmine and I are safe from elimination tonight, and it feels so good. I think that every other girl here is kind of nervous. Can I have the floor? Absolutely. Cool. If you think that by me and Anissa going in, it's gonna help you out, then go and then vote for, you know, vote for us in there. But if it's not gonna help you out, um, well, if the when voting happens, remember, you know, whichever one comes back, it doesn't really matter. Then you would still have us on your team, like for voting for Guy Day. If that makes sense at all. I don't know. Why to, and you say help me with this. This is how I feel. Yeah. I hate the first day bull and I hate the whispers and everybody's going in rooms. You're all trying to save your own ass. Let's just be real. And we're trying to save ours. Do y'all have someone that you would prefer to go in before you? I already Say it straight up. Who I think has a chance as well as, as us to go in there are Laurel and Cara Maria. Coming up on Rivals. Not even close, you bitch. Not even close, you Who I think has a chance as well as, as us to go in there are Laurel and Cara Maria. Don't say my name, bitch. I'm gonna throw my vote up first, and it's for Anissa and Robin. Okay. Anissa and Robin. Wow. 
If you feel that there's a bandwagon going on, you just jump right on and you go with it. Is there Robin? Anissa and Robin, sorry, go. Robin and Anissa are 100% locks. I'm pissed. Why would Laurel play the game dirty? I think it was very cowardly of her. All right, so Anissa and Robin versus Paula and Evelyn. Good luck, girls. I'll see you at the jungle. Let's go. All right. Anissa is the elimination queen. That girl has never been sent home in a straightforward elimination round. It's really going to come down to which pair can work together the best. You have a chance to change the entire dynamic of the game right now. Yeah. You can either beat one of the best teams here, yeah. debatably one of the best teams here, and go and have a better shot of winning, or you get to go home to your kid. That's another reason why I'm here. You're good, girl. I know. You should be. Yeah, I thought that was going to make you smile, not cry. No, because that, that makes it even more why I want the money. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, I wasn't ready to fight. Being away from my child is extremely hard. But if I have the opportunity to make a lot of money to change me and my son's life, it also gives me so much drive and determination. Only four people are going into elimination, and the rest of the house is just going to party. Let's go. Let's go. We're all partying, the booze is flowing, um, everyone's, you know, having a blast. <laughs> We're in Costa Rica and I, I can't even believe I'm here right now. I'm so cold. Well, I can't believe you from the pool. You just gotta stop drinking that sauce, girl. You gotta, you gotta get off, off the liquor. I love this sexual attraction. I don't know what you're talking about. Right I, was, I, it's cute. To, I was trying to get it's you very off the pool. Cute. Me and Tyree, like, I mean, he's a good looking guy, but I have a boyfriend back at home. I'm not gonna hook up. I'm not gonna do that. It's when you see the big chemistry. No sense in hiding what you do to me. And you know how long I've been waiting for an attractive black girl to be on the show that actually digs black dudes? I'm gonna try to be good, hopefully. She's gonna get you drunk and take advantage of you. Literally, like, I will that ass if it's necessary. If it's necessary. When Jasmine drinks, she gets completely out of control. Oh, oh break it up! Or keep going. Yeah, my relationship is over. Jasmine has a lot of explaining to do to the boyfriend she supposedly has at home. Tyree is disgusting. The guy sleeps with his sneakers on. Jasmine's gonna smell like bacon for the rest of her life. I love watching Ty pick on people. That's it, you wanna fight? Oh no. He's, he's so easily able to bug people and he gets off on it. Hey, Ty, do you have sex I haven't had sex in like a year and a half. A year and a half? Why? Because I'm in LA and all the girls suck. To be honest, I don't really like Ty. He just mad about people. What do you think you're doing over there? You think people hate us because of what I just said? Everybody's with you right now because they want to get you riled up. The biggest thing coming from Cutthroat is everybody was like, I got a problem with girls. Right, right. So you got to start wooing the girls. Open some doors, let them eat first, let them get on the bus first. It's a little they'll notice. To do. He claims he's fine and everything's great. I believe him. Not really. Laurel, yeah. you're tall as hell. Your legs got hella cellulite. But very attractive. Everyone's laughing at Ty, but newsflash, you're not cool. You're a loser. Hey, you don't know where I'm from, no, you heard, man. Adam gets in my face and he's talking to me in a way that I don't appreciate being talked to. Listen, anyone would put him out of his misery. He can't even stand up. I want him, I want him to hit me like square in the face. Damn it! We did great at the challenge. We worked together well. We get back to the house, and he just screws it all up. I really want to hit Ty. Don't let him push your buttons. I'm not trying to start right. a random fight, but if I know, happens, but come on, man. Adam is somebody who's just not going to let you walk away from anything. And in my head, I'm thinking Adam's going to do something stupid tonight. Where's that guy? Dude, don't call me a guy, Ty. Where's that beautiful kid? Hey, man, shut your mouth. 
Look at that gangster mug, though. <laughs> Look at me. And Terry's goes to him. He's not worth it. Look, chill. Hey, Not even close, you bitch. Not even close, you bitch. Look at me. And Terry's goes to him. He's not worth it. He'll get used to him before he will. Where's this mother Adam? Hey, Adam, I'm wide open. Is that it? That sucks. Come on, bro. You know he wanted you to do that. It's fun. I get to sit back and watch everybody else fight for once. Madness is everywhere, and it's not me. I hope Mandy's okay. Adam just knocked her over. She hit her head pretty hard on the pavement. Her head hurts. She can't see straight. She's not really responding. Listen, honey, listen. In through your nose, out through your mouth. I can't see you. Adam. Adam. Come on, Adam. Come on. Adam. Come on. You don't want us to have to call the cops down here. He's going to f him in the face and somebody sucks. He's going to go home and you know it. So He's what you got home. left to gain, dude? He's going home. Adam, Adam, I'm not kidding. Since Adam threw the first and only punch tonight, we all know this guy's gone. What'd you come here for? You can't keep doing this, bro. Will get you killed. I told you this on the show in Vegas. I know. Right. I was hoping that I could make it to the end, but I know that I'm not going to be making it to the finals. Forget about the money, which sucks, but oh well. It wasn't done on purpose. It wasn't done on malice, but if I could get every guy on this challenge pissed off and they all hit me at the same time, that would be a very great strategy. Mandy took a hard hit. I mean, that's what happens when a girl gets knocked on the ground by an angry, drunk guy. But it looks like she's going to be OK. I literally have never had that before. So that was new. You're a tough chick. All right, you went down, you bumped your head, you got a little boo-boo, you got a little headache. The CT is definitely the hottest guy in the house. And he has decided to come to my rescue and make sure that I'm okay. I am not complaining. Just cheers. Mandy's a cute girl. I didn't see Mandy get knocked down. Um, I'm sure that big ass head protected her pretty well. <laughs> everybody to your first elimination round. This is the jungle. Yeah. Now, first order of business. Adam decided he had to punch somebody in the face. Therefore, Adam is out of here. Now that Adam's gone, Leroy's flying solo. There's basically two options. They're either going to replace a partner for him, or they're just going to ship Leroy home. At this point, I mean, it's anyone's guess. There's a lot more to a challenge than just winning challenges. So, Leroy, I'm sorry, man. Adam decided he had to punch somebody in the face. Therefore, Adam is out of here. So, Leroy, I'm sorry, man. But it's your lucky night. We brought in a replacement for you. All right, let me see you. <laughs> hey, newbie! What up, newbie? Hey. 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 Hey.
I got called to do the show. I said yes. Then I went home and I watched the first episode of Cutthroat. I wanted to call right back and say no thank you. But I'm here and I'm gonna do my best. This is Mike from the real world Las Vegas. More importantly, this is Leroy's new partner. So welcome, Mike. I couldn't be happier than I'm staying. What's up, little Lee? <laughs> Mike is so smart and I feel like his brains and my strength, we could do a lot. Okay, enough about the guys. I need to see Evelyn and Paula and Anissa and Robin. Come on down. I've never been in a first elimination round. I would prefer not to be here, but as long as me and Evelyn can get out of this, I think it's straight to the final. This will be the sweetest victory ever and a total game changer. I need to win. I have to win. Okay, girls, tonight you're playing hands-on. Again, each player is going to start on their platform, leaning against their partner as leverage. Then I'm going to pull a lever, which will in turn move your platforms apart. I'll keep pulling that lever, moving your platforms further and further apart. First team to hit the mud loses. The other team stays in the game, goes for the big money. All right, let's do it. This is not the elimination I'd expected. I was really hoping for something physical. Paula is really top heavy, and they're kind of off kilter. I'm hoping that me and Anissa's body type and the way that we're kind of even will work out in our advantage. OK, girls, face each other and grab each other's hands. You ready? Go! I feel good on here. Are you OK? Anissa and Robin are pulling against each other. Paula and Evelyn have a different strategy of pushing against each other. Anissa and Robin look a little bit more stable than Evelyn and Paula. I think we need a little more length on this thing. Ready? Yes, it's all the focus. 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 Yeah. Focus. 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 My back hurts. My legs hurt. It feels like Give me your hands. Hands are hands, hands, hands. Don't pull me. My arms are really extended right now. It is wet on this plank. I'm shaking. Paul is shaking. We're holding on to each other for dear life. Hold on, baby. I am. I think we need a little more light. You ready? Yeah. Stop pulling me. I'm Robin, not. Robin, Robin. I'm not pulling. This is a team thing, and I'm pushing, and she's not pushing back at me. All right, girls, you ready? We did it! We did it! Oh, my God. It's the first time I've ever been in the first elimination round, and coming out of it feels amazing. This is the greatest sense of relief I've ever had. I had a partner who I had to rely on, and she more than rose to the occasion. Hey, you <laughs> get your muddy ass out of my weave. Normally, I'm really good at these things. I'm great at elimination. I've kicked many an ass. But with Robin being my partner, I feel so helpless. It's the worst feeling to lose like that. All right, Paula, Evelyn, congratulations. Good job. Evelyn, nice work. <laughs> you don't really look like you won. I feel like I did. Well, go ahead and rejoin your group. You killed it. Good job. All right, Anissa, Robin, unfortunately, this is your time here in Costa Rica. You guys did a good job, but it wasn't good enough tonight, so no big deal. Bye-bye. I really did not see this coming. It really sucks that I'm having to go home first. But on the flip side, it's not so bad because I'm going home to my beautiful baby boy. The party's over. The next challenge is a men's challenge. I'm definitely nervous a little bit. You have a cauldron in your room and you're stirring it up. What do you mean? You're waiting for the right time to strike. CT's got everyone fooled right now. He's trying to play the nice guy role. If everybody really pays attention, they'll notice what a creep he really is. 
for me. I have so many different options to, to do certain different things depending on what happens. What are you working on? Other people think that you think you're a top <laughs> dog and they're coming at you. I'm serious. And it's going to affect you. I'm, t I'm yeah, serious. We're f top dogs, me and Wes. We got more championship uh, belts than f Hulk Hogan. Because of that, Kenny, every time some other team loses, I'm going to convince them to pick you. Okay. You have a bad day, you're going in. So is this a sales pitch that I should it's send you in early? Pitch. All I'm saying is, I'm in the house, bro. You can't get rid of me. Kenny, Wes, Ebony, Amaya, Johnny, and Tyler all think they're going to be in the final three. They got another thing coming. I'll chip away until there's none of them left. I can't wait to get my hands on these kids. This season on Rivals. I can't get away from him, no matter what happens. When I get my chance, I'm gonna bend you in half. <laughs> Playing the game with a bunch of bitches, and I got the biggest one on my team. We're all partying, everyone's having a blast, but that changes completely. Uh oh, all right, guys, your next challenge is 3,000 miles away. Can you tell me what being scared is, all right, Leroy? You have fake moves, you're anorexic, you are worthless. Who's scared of you now? You act like you're seven. Get me out of here! 